another day, another day at the gym. All right, that made no sense, but I don't care because I'm hyped, ready for the gym. Before we get into the gym today, I want to talk about a comment I saw on one of my videos. Check this comment out, all right? So it basically says that he wants to get ripped, he wants to go to the gym, he wants to get shredded, but he's not even fat, he's only 150 pounds. I know he's short, but he is too, he doesn't have, what's the word I'm looking for here? He is ashamed to go in the gym because he thinks people are gonna call him fat. Bro, no one, maybe I call people fat for a joke online, like on YouTube. Trust me, if you're in the gym, no, doesn't matter how fat you are, doesn't matter if you're 350 pounds at 5'6", no one in the gym uh, looks at you and thinks, oh, look at that fat guy. They don't think that. In fact, they think the opposite. They think, look at that fat guy. He's making a difference. Let's go. I'm proud of him. Let's go. They're proud of you for that. They are not ashamed. They're not laughing at you. They're proud of you. Anyone will be proud of you if you're making a difference in the gym. All right. So if you are in this category and if you are skinny, if you are fat, uh, if you I was so skinny for so up until six months ago, I was I was uh, one of the skinniest guys at my gym up until six months ago. I would still go. I don't care. Uh, if you think you're low, just wear a shirt. So it doesn't matter what people think, man. It does not matter. Go shirtless even. It doesn't matter, bro. It does not matter what people think. Uh, just take that out. Just throw it out. All right. Go to the gym, whether you're skinny or fat, who cares what people think? Who cares? But regardless, they don't care either. They're just there for themselves, and they're not there to laugh at you because you're skinny or fat. In fact, it's the opposite, believe me. If you're skinny or fat, and they see you making a difference, they will love you for it. They are happy for it. They want to see you succeed, all right? So that's the underlying lesson of today's video. Off to the gym we go. We got the dreaded leg day today. I can't stand leg day, but you got to do leg day. As you can tell, my legs are chicken legs to the max. But we are never skipping a leg day ever again. Ever again. We got squat dial up today, boys. Let's go. Leg day, baby. Ah, let's go. Squat time. So, this is the first. I did a few sets before this. Uh, I'm doing a little new method here. I'm trying to put my legs a little more to the outside. Similar to like a, uh, it's mainly for sumo deadlifts. Like for deadlifts, it's way easier. But because it is my first time back, uh, putting your legs a little more to the side like I did there. The knees are still not passing the toes. Uh, it's still an okay form-wise, but it's not the best form. But it's good if you're if you're starting out. So I'm just starting out again, doing squats after a long time. For those of you who don't know, squats and deadlifts are the mother of all workouts. So you must do them. I'm testing something new here too, where uh, I move the legs a little more to the side, but it's not passing my toes. It does look at the angle, it's passing it a bit, but it did not pass my toes. I made sure to check every time. And uh, simply just try to bring your ass to the grass, or not even a little more than 90 degrees. A little more than 90 degrees is perfect. Uh, you don't go to, all the way to the ground, but as long as you, you're, it goes a little more than 90 degrees, then uh, you do your job. So here I'm trying something new again. This is I did a few sets before this to test it. It's only 45 on each side. I could do a little more weight-wise, but form is everything for squat and deadlift. So here I try to bring the legs a little more closer, and I'm feeling it really every rep ever since. At this point, this is probably my seventh set, and my legs are already done. For for your legs to uh, honestly squat is so under uh, it's so incredible, man. Uh, what like, uh, five sets of squats is enough for your legs to be sore like crazy the next day i'm telling you so you cannot ignore squats and deadlifts that is literally the reason why my legs are such chicken legs because i always ignore squat and deadlift so that's it for the squats now we're doing deadlift we started out at one point just to test it here's a sumo deadlift i was talking about where you can take all your uh you take all of your power and strength in the deadlift from your thighs uh as you see there my, my leg my knees are a little too much to the side you're gonna see for this set I know, I, I know, I, this is also why you should record yourself while lifting as well. I noticed uh, the weight was a little too light, and I was lifting a bit with my back. So, for this one, uh, I tried to change that where I made sure I got my strength from my thighs. So, the reason why we do deadlift on leg day is what we do, when we do sumo deadlift, uh, it works your legs a lot more than your back, but it still works your back as well. But, uh, you're going to notice that turn. You see that turn I just made with my knees? My knees, I want to be facing the camera. I want the knees to be facing my camera. And you get more from your thighs that way. And uh, like that's a lot of weight. And Don't be afraid to fail. Everything I've ever attempted in life, I was always willing to fail. Arnold Schwarzenegger. What a quote from the GOAT himself. So for this set that you're about to see, 
It was a weight that I thought I could do that I, ca I can't. But look at it. Look at it. So you're seeing it right now. I'm doing two plates on each side, which is no, used to be no problem for me. I used to do that literally in my sleep. I used to be able to do almost like two, two plates, 35 was my max for deadlift. But I haven't done it in so long. I thought this is lightweight. But look at that. One rep. One rep. And that's all I could do. I thought I was hitting five, no problem. And I was furious. But you always got to be willing to fail to succeed. All right, it's another lesson for today. I knew I, I, I thought I could get it. I didn't. What's that mean? That means next leg like day, I'm hitting, I'm hitting two plates no matter what. No matter what. No matter what. But you got to be willing to fail because you'll never know how far you could go if you're not willing to fail. If you're not willing to attempt to achieve something, you're not going to achieve anything. So let that lesson be learned. Don't be scared to try heavier weights than you actually could do. Uh, like you saw in my last days. Like I was even, my shoulder press day yesterday. I was doing sh shoulder press amounts that I can't do. I failed. Lesson learned. Next week, I'm going to do it again and again. But eventually, I will hit it. So don't be afraid to do what you can't do. Very important lesson to be learned there. Don't forget that. I failed badly on that last set. I only did one rep with two plates when I thought I could do five. But that's all good. Because next week, I'm hitting the two plates. So... Uh, now on to the next set. Uh, we're doing Delev now. We've, we've dropped the 45 to 25. Uh, I'm doing, if you look, I'm really using my thighs here. I'm exhausted. I'm done. I used, I did eight sets of squats. Five sets. This is my fifth or sixth set of deadlifts. I did a few sets of each before I started uh, making videos for it today. And you have no idea how much energy these t this takes up from you. Squats and deadlifts destroys you. I could, I could barely stand. After I finished that last rep, uh, after I finished this rep, uh, there was a, a scene, like a few seconds, where I literally, my, my legs fell. Like, I literally, tri my, my legs were shaking. Uh, I could, like, they're done. Uh, there's no energy left in my legs whatsoever. So, we drop it down to 45 on each. Uh, I'm like, yo, my form was so bad for this set. That's when you know you're done doing deadlift or squat. When your legs have no energy anymore that you have to sacrifice form badly. And I, I was at that point, I'm like, yo, my legs are done. I can't even do one more rep. I try to readjust. I was like, nah, look at that. Like, that's... The face of uh, pure exhaustion, which is what you want in your leg day. So we do squat deadlift for our leg day because I'm going to explain it more at the end of the video. And we do uh, this abs over here. So before this, I did 50 reps of this. Now we're doing three last sets of, of to the to, until we can't do any more. Our abs are burning at this point. For abs, we do 50 reps of this and then three sets of uh, to death reps. So as many as you possibly can until you can't do any more. Every rep hurt like for the last 10 but we're the, like, it really works your abs, the hanging leg raises. It really works them out. And uh, so, again, it's the second death set is what I call it. After you do uh, pick a number, I, I pick 50 that I do by myself. And then I do the last three. They're called death sets is what I call them. Where you do as much reps as you can until you can't do any more. And every rep really hurts because even the first rep hurts because uh, you just did 50, right? So that's what I like to do for bodyweight exercises. Uh, and then, boom, the second set, it really works. It looks like my legs are uh, moving at too much of force, but they are con a lot more controlled than it seems. Uh, I think the angle makes it look way more like I'm just throwing it, but they're controlled reps. And that's it. That's pretty much it for the leg day, leg and ab day. And I'm not going to explain why we do squat and deadlift on the same day, which is extremely important. So pay attention. That was the workout, boys. Just so you guys know why we do squat and deadlift on the same day, it's because of our split. Here's the split. Day one, we do chest. Day two, we do back by. Day three, we do leg, uh, shoulder try. Day four, we do legs, abs. Why? Because you don't need rest days. It's overrated. Rest days are for little babies and wussies who can't, uh, they can't handle uh, not lifting every day. Uh, lifting is a mentality. It's like brushing your teeth. Uh, you brush your teeth every day, you lift every day. You, you piss every day, you lift every day. You, it's that simple. You eat a few meals a day, you lift every day. You, you lift every day. It's part of your lifestyle now. You can't go back on it. It's as much as your life as brushing your teeth is. It's as much as your life as waking up is. Oh, you have to sleep today? Don't sleep till you lift. Don't sleep till you lift because it's the exact same thing, all right? It's part of your life. So it's the mentality of going every single day. So I wanted to create a regiment uh, which allows me to lift every day with my muscles getting, you still need rest. Your muscles need rest. You can't do chest Monday, chest Tuesday, right? Your muscles need rest to uh, lift again. What? That's why I made this regimen where every single muscle has four days of rest. Day one, chest. Day two, back by. Day three, shoulder try. Day four, legs, abs. That's also why we do deadlift on leg day. Because if you did deadlift on the back day, then two days later, your legs will be too sore to do leg day. That's why we do deadlift and squat together uh, in doing so. 
your back will, by doing dead squat, it works a little bit of your back, but you'll be good to go over back in two days, but your legs will be sore. They're, they're the mother of all workouts. They're the two biggest workouts on the planet. So uh, just those two for legs, I'm telling you, is all you need. My legs are literally trembling right now from all that leg. Uh, just You saw in the last set. I did the smallest little weight for deadlift, and I couldn't even do it because squat and deadlift is insane. I, I did eight sets of squats. I didn't show it like the first half of the sets I did. Like It was insane. And this is me doing low weight. Imagine when you're doing heavy weight. Uh, I'm telling you, like... Squat deadlifts are the mother of all workouts. You have to do them without a doubt. And the abs are just for for fun. Uh, you don't need to do much abs because I'm telling you, you'll be surprised how much abs you do in all your workouts anyways. But it's good to get a little bit in. Uh, and legs are my weakest point. So even as much as I hate legs, you still have to do them. I hate doing squat and deadlift. I absolutely hate it. But you have to do it. You absolutely have to do it. They're my weak points. Uh, this is my first squat and deadlift I did in like months and months and months. So and I'm, gonna be, I'm never skipping them again. I'm doing it every single fourth day. Uh, or fifth day, however that works. So the regimen I told you for every fourth day. Uh, and the only rest that you guys can take, guys, is only when, like, you're truly... Let's say, for example, you did chest, mon- or chest Wednesday, for example. Four days later, when chest comes up again, if your chest is still sore because you went that hard, uh, it'll go away eventually when you're a rookie, when you start with your first few weeks. Uh, it's going to get more sore, but as you go on, it'll get less sore. So uh, believe me, four days, uh, you have four days of rest. Even three days of rest, you're good, but you have four days of rest for every single muscle group. No rest days are needed as long as you create your regimen in a way that uh, you could go back to back to back with muscles so they get four days rest, three days rest, and you're good to go, no rest days. That was the video. Hope you guys liked it. We're going to do another video tomorrow with a special guest for chess day, my favorite. See you guys then, boys. We're going to try and hit our PR tomorrow. We're going to try and hit our PR 45 25. We're going to try and do tomorrow. Last week we did 45 10 and struggled, So, but I just feel it. We're going to hit 45 25. I know it. So see you guys tomorrow's video.